How to test crystal oscillator? This is a question from my viewer that how we can test crystal oscillator. We can test crystal oscillator using different methods. We can power up this board and we can measure the frequency, we can check the signal. We can use function generator to provide resonant frequency and then we can test with oscilloscope. But today I will give a easiest way. Everyone don't have function generator. So we can test with very simple circuit. Crystal oscillator is basic element for any microcontroller, any microprocessor because it provides timing signal, clock signal. It is two pin component. It is made from crystal wafer which have its standard frequency for its wafer for example this crystal it is 4.19 megahertz this one it is 12 megahertz so it is 20 megahertz when it is connected in circuit it will oscillate without any frequency deviation at this nominal frequency so that the system will work in a systematic way how we can make its test circuit we need 7404 IC and we will connect in this way this is pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 we can connect from 22 pico farad capacitor up to 100 nano farad capacitor which one is available from 220 code to 104 code here we will connect our resistor variable resistor it is best way to connect variable resistors. The same across this one. So we can tune as per our requirement. And we will connect crystal oscillator here. And this is output. Pin number 14 plus 5 volt VCC and pin number 7 ground. This is our test circuit. We will use 10 kilo ohm stereo potentiometer, dual potentiometer, 7404 IC, 5404 IC, 74LS4. 74LS04, 54LS04 Place on the project board Place 10 kilo ohm potentiometer here on the project board First I will use 104 capacitor It is 100 nano Between pin 2 and 3 Now I will connect one jumper to pin number 1 and we will connect to the first pin here on the potentiometer pin number two we will bring to center slider of this potentiometer the wiper arm pin number three of this IC will come to the second side variable potentiometer here Pin number 4, I will make jumper from here so that we can place the second wire away from this potentiometer because it is coming under this adjustment knob. Yes, that's good. Pin number 4, pin number 4 to the center slider of this potentiometer and we will make jumper between 4 and 5. So this jumper between pin number 4 and 5, I will apply positive voltage 5 volt to pin number 14. 
pin number 7 that is ground pin and we will take output from pin number 6 that is here pin number 6 now we will connect oscillator between pin number 1 and pin number 4 I will connect pin number 1 to pin number 4 the second side of this crystal oscillator will reach to pin number 4 1, 2, 3, 4 it is here now our test circuit is ready I will connect oscilloscope ground to ground signal high to signal high and I will apply ground here return line positive voltage here We can see it is reading 12 megahertz. If it is, if the same frequency is not visible, our signal is some sine wave like this. We need to tune this variable. Once it is tuned, it will give the exact frequency. It is giving 11.96 12 megahertz. We can test with multimeter in hertz. Common with ground and positive to the test signal. Eleven point nine eight. We can see when we connect multimeter in parallel, its capacitive response degrades the signal but we can test using multimeter or we can test using oscilloscope 11.99 megahertz that's good now if I will change this crystal oscillator it is showing 80 megahertz so that is resonant frequency of this tuned circuit now I will use 20 megahertz crystal it is giving 20 megahertz if I will test with multimeter I think it will not show frequency because it is for out from its limit so this multimeter cannot test 20 megahertz here 20 megahertz now I will check this crystal oscillator which I removed from this microwave overboard between pin number 1 and 4 it is exactly 4.16 megahertz 4.19 here 4.20 here but here is 4.19 megahertz so in this way we can test crystal oscillator if it is not giving a good reading sometime if it, if it is giving some sign signal at very high frequency like this at that time we need to tune it just only adjust the potentiometer we will receive the exact frequency if it is not giving the exact frequency that means that crystal is bad sometime it becomes short circuit if it is short circuit we can test using continuity in continuity we can test in this way it must be open any pin 
will not give continuity with the chassis with the body if it is giving short circuit with the body the crystal is bad for functional test so it is the easiest way to make test circuit just only inject it here you will see the frequency